Okay, good morning everyone. Sorry that I sound like Kermit the Frog, but I just woke up. <laughs> so it is 9.48 and I don't usually sleep sleep in this late, but um, I went to bed at 3.30. So um, since I just woke up, the first thing I do is I check my um, fasting glucose levels. Um, every doctor recommends that you do this a different way. So um, this is just how my doctor does it. Um, I take... Um, let me show you here. So this is how I have it set up. You're not going to be able to see it. So I do my fasting one here, and then I do an hour and a half after breakfast, hour and a half after lunch, hour and a half after dinner every day. So that's how that works. Let's see if I can put this down so I can actually do it. So I just got this from my, um, like, specialist lady. Sorry the lighting is so yellow. It's so gross. So I'm going to check my fasting one, and this is kind of gross, so if you don't want to see this, you don't have to. I won't actually show you me pricking my finger, but I kind of just place this in there for now, and then I kind of start massaging my finger. Alright, so then my fasting, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, probably not, my fasting number was 77, so then I just read it in my little book. So for breakfast usually I have a couple different like variations of things, sometimes I'll have like a scrambled egg and then other times I'll have something more simple. Today I want to have something more simple, I don't want anything too crazy. So, um, this is what I'm going to have. I'm going to have um, one slice of this whole wheat um, bread. I'm going to toast it. And so it's just one slice. Um, because what I was told for um, breakfast, I should have anywhere between 15 and 30 grams of carbs, 15 for snacks, and then for lunch and dinner, I should have anywhere between 30 and 45 grams. And then they give you like an explanation of what you should be having. And then on here is my list of like different foods I can eat and how much I can eat from them. So, okay, so this is my breakfast. I have a couple slices of cheese, a piece of whole wheat um, toast with peanut butter and a quarter of an orange and a water. Now. Um, just try and remember that these um, gestational diabetic diets are not one size fits all. They are customly like tailored to each individual pregnant woman. This diet plan was tailored to me. So if I'm eating something that you don't feel is um, correct or that you don't agree with, you have to remember that this is what my uh, gestational diabetes counselor, nutritionist, um, told me this is what she she mapped out for me in you know a separate notebook when she wrote my meals down this is what she said was best for me so um it's going to be different for everybody um but i know that this video was really highly requested so i wanted to make sure that i could at least show you some ideas as to um you know what you could kind of expect um but yeah that's my breakfast Perfect. So this is my lunch. Um, I'm having a whole wheat sandwich with turkey and I uh, put the turkey in the microwave for 30 seconds just because that's what you're supposed to do when you're pregnant and it's got a little bit of tomato because I have to stay away from tomato. Um, some lettuce, some avocado, and some turkey bacon, and some cheese. So it's a pretty hearty lunch which is nice. So I just have that and then Everybody's so used to eating, well I shouldn't say everybody, but I know I'm used to eating like chips when I eat a sandwich. So this is my new like 
alternative to eating chips. And it's just cucumbers with lemon and salt. So it's nice. And then I'm just going to have a water. So, anyway, so I'm going to eat now. It's 142. And then um, I'll check my blood sugar um, an hour and a half after I eat. And then I'll probably have a snack. I didn't have a morning snack today just because I didn't really feel very hungry. So yeah, that's what I'm having for lunch. Okay, so it is really late. It is 9.08 p.m. And um, I'm just now having dinner. And I'm going to do something different. I took some chicken out to defrost and it just didn't, like, finish defrosting. So I'm going to try something different. I just went to Target and I got a couple of these. And these are the Healthy Choice Steaming Entrees. This is the Chicken Romano Fresca. It sounds really good. And it only has 29 grams of carbs. And I'm allowed 30 to 40 for dinner. So... I'm going to try this. Um, my blood sugar after lunch was 117, which is not bad at all. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to have this for dinner, and then I will update you guys later, um, about an hour and a half after I eat, tell you what my blood sugar was after this and if this is a good idea or not. Um, and then I will tell you about my snack, because I think I'm going to have a snack later on. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so it's an hour and a half after dinner, and I was really wondering about how it was going to work with that meal that I had, but my number's actually really good. It's 107, so that's really awesome, so I think I'm going to um, kind of change it up a little bit with those frozen meals and see how I do with them, so that's great. So for a snack, I'm going to have a sugar-free um, fruit pop and that has six grams of carbs and um, so my dietitian slash nutritionist told me to only um, look at the total carb count and not like the individual sugar count so that's what I base my um, kind of diet off of so yeah and then tomorrow I start all over again so thanks for watching this and it was a little boring and I didn't show my face and all that but um, Hopefully you got some ideas of um, stuff you can eat, and I'll insert slides telling you like what else I eat besides the stuff I just filmed today. So, um, yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.